So the Afsta Dijk is a 32 kilometer long dike between the Waddenzee and the IJsselmeer. The Afsta Dijk has a special meaning for me because I, I grew up here. The feeling that you had when, when going on holidays, you had to cross the dike. Still, when I go over the dike, I still get the holiday feeling. It was designed by the engineer Lely, very famous guy. And at that, that time, it was already quite strong dike. But we have climate change. When we have real high tides and heavy storms, there is a chance that the dike will not hold. If you have a closer look, you can see it needs an update. Uh, we know the, the water level is rising. We are renovating it to keep Holland safe. The, the biggest storms we, we expect in the next 50 years. The typical aspect of the Afsterdijk project is actually that there are four functions that have to be combined. On the one hand, we have the flood defense system, but on the other hand, we have to create, and it's very contradictory, but we have to create an, another opening in the dike for the fish migration river. So we have to create a safe flood defense barrier in this new opening. Then the two other functions are road traffic and shipping traffic. Of course, our government is very keen on reducing the CO2 footprint, and the Level Blocks adds to that ambition. Speaking to the inventor of, of Level Blocks, this is, I think, one of the biggest factories within a construction project, really, where they automate their whole fabrication processes, designing perfectly, also for manufacturing. And I think that is, is the goal of industrialized construction to me introduce more and more manufacturing processes on the construction project. Outside here we have the real world, one in one, but in the fiscal model testing we started with one in 30 scale model. Then we went uh, for the dike, we went to uh, Delta Aris in a one in 20 scale model, and finally in a one in three scale model in the Delta Flume. High hydraulic stability, low concrete demand, low CO2 output, uh, good for the ecology, but they form basically the whole appearance of the Afsluit dike. The majority of the dike, so, so 30 kilometers of dike, will be protected by these blocks. We are now working with BIM 360 in the cloud. Uh, basically, it's all about quality. Everybody works on the same model. And not only we as BAM or as Nord, but also our subcontractors. And it is also future proof. The manufacturing of the level blocks is done here in Harlingen in, a, in an automated factory. Harling is a seaport, so we can load the blocks here in sea-going vessels and then they are transported to the dike. So we do not need to transport the blocks in any way on the roads. It's all marine transport. So with the marine transport, it's far more safe and also it's a lower CO2 footprint. In every block, there is a chip. And those chips, we can follow the block from being poured uh, until they are placed in the dike. It's all about traceability and proving that your quality system is in place. I think there's a number of very innovative uh, uh, aspects on this, uh, on this project. Already in the design we can take account of the best way to design this dam with the most advanced technologies and also materials. The credo that we use in our organization is we build it before we build it. So first we produce our design in a fully digital way before we start constructing in a, in, a, in a physical way. So that really leads to less waste. It's all about being more efficient, getting better insights from the start by fully preparing a project in a digital way. We implemented BIM 360. We gave everybody uh, access to the, the environment and we showed them the possibilities. So instead of just seeing only a civil part and a mechanical part, you could see that together in one environment without having to have separate programs. During all the steps that we uh, go through in our, in our project life cycle, we produce a lot of data. This data is of crucial importance to, uh, to companies in, uh, in our industry. And we can learn from this data. We can be become more efficient uh, by using machine learning and uh, AI technologies. And that is really the big promise of, uh, of using data in a more efficient way in, in our industry. I'm very proud that I am able to protect the dike for the coming 100 years with these blocks, with my blocks. That, uh, that makes me very proud. It makes you proud of the, the thing we did 90 years ago, the, the, the way they built the dike back then, and seeing the amount of work it takes to get at least a part of the dike now into a, a new state. It's mind-boggling. 
I'm cycling over the dike in five years. We will not only cycle there with the nice weather, but also if there will be a big storm, we for sure will go to the Afla dike and see the interaction of the waves with the blocks. That will be also very impressive. And I meet a lot of people I would normally not meet. And, and for them, uh, the renewal of the Afla dike also means a, a feeling of safety. Uh, they don't have to worry uh, that in 40 years they'll be underwater.